Okay, good morning. So, we have Lucy up here on the stanchion with her baby bump. This is the right side. The other side's where the babies are. Well, they're all in there. And she is just a few weeks away from giving birth, which means it's time to give her her C, D, and T. So she needs her little vaccine so that it can be in her milk when she has the babies so that they can have that right off. So that's what we're gonna work on right now is giving Lucy her C, D, and T. So I have my little bottle of Clostridium perfringens type C and D tetanus toxoid. It's the kind that goes in between the skin and the muscles. Of course, I can't remember what that means right now. <laughs> so I have my syringe. I have my needle. I'm going to put those together. So, should have a little thing saying that it's nice and clean and sterile. Pop that off. And you pop that into the end of your syringe just like that so don't take that lid off until you cut it in here okay and then you want to make sure you shake this up real good so it's, it's nice creamy color and then you can pull this off and Lucy needs someplace clean Okay, and then this just goes in here, and Lucy's a, just a goat, so she just needs two mils. Fill it up. What you do is you tip that this way, and you push out all the air. You don't want any air, okay? <clears throat> And then, until I'm ready, I put the lid back on that. You don't want that just sticking out anywhere. Okay, they recommend doing rubbing alcohol. Um, this is just rubbing alcohol on the spot that you're going to work on. I ran out of cotton swabs, so I have my cloths that I use to wash things off. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna. She's so. Her fur's so thick, so it's kind of like this obnoxious time of year to do this. Because I don't know if I'll be able to even rub that down in. We'll do the best we can. Probably doesn't matter. And take the lid off of our needle. Pull that skin out. Squeeze that in. Oh, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. Okay, always get the lid back on your needle. Okay, it's not sticking out. Is it, Lucy? You okay? Oh, rub it, rub it, rub it. You all right, sweetheart? So I contacted her previous owner and asked her how many babies she'd had in the past, and she says, oh, she has two or three. So we are definitely looking at at least two. She's a big girl, so we'll see. She may have, she may have three for us. Okay, you ready to go back in? Okay, let's go put you back in. I want to show you these cute kids because they are super friendly. Look at this. Well, we'll see. We'll see if they do it. You guys going to come out? And come out. We need to name you. So this one we thought was a little boy. I am not sure anymore. So we're just going to kind of hold out hope. 
Not sure about the camera. <laughs> I'm hoping it's a girl. If it's a girl, then we'll have an olive egger and an Easter egger, and that would be so fun. It's always fun to have those colored eggs. And the nice thing with olive eggers and Easter eggers is that they, um, they're, they're bred to be excellent layers along with the color. So. Little dude. Little duder or dudat. Little one. Yeah, nice and warm, huh? Nice and warm with mama. <laughs> it's funny how they kind of switched around. No, this one's a little bit more friendly than that one. Like, she did hop on my hand and then turned around and ran off, but... Yeah. You're so cute. Yeah, Mama. All right, I wanted to give you a little update on our egg situation. So, what is that? What? You're crazy. Anyway, so I'm out with Kaylee. She does our... She and Sam, she and Sammy, I guess Sammy does it sometimes too, does she? Or uh, just you? It's just me. Just Kaylee. So Kaylee's our egg collector. She comes out and she's the one that's been collecting our eggs and seeing how much more production we have. So I'm going to come over here, keep the goats away from it. The best we can because they're stinkers like that. What do we have? Look at that guys. Five. We have five eggs in here. And a little goat that keeps trying to get in so we'll keep moving her on. We'll just keep moving you on, huh Daffy? So I five get, eggs. I have to get used to not opening this egg. <laughs> that one. side, yeah. Because I used to do that. So what does that tell us? That tells us that the protein and the nesting boxes are definitely helping these chickens on this side. And that's exciting. It's been great to have eggs again. Fresh eggs. Now, uh, we may still have an egg eater because yesterday Kaylee collected six <coughs> eggs. But it did look, they were really dirty and, it, and I, clean, I clean the poopy stuff out every morning. So it looked like probably what was happening is either the egg broke when they were laying eggs, it had a thin shell or something, or one of these chickens is going up there and, and eating it. So. so anyway, we're just happy to have fresh eggs again. Five out of 15 chickens? Yeah, you can do that. Look at this goat. She's so wide. Look at that pretty lady. We're gonna have some babies in a couple weeks.